All right, good morning or good, good day maybe is a good way to say hello. I um, hope you're all doing great. We're going to start our Qigong flow. Um, so yeah, find a comfortable place wherever it feels good for you in your home and um, just kind of allow the feet to ground, right? So especially with the sunshine outside, we want to have a lot of grounding still. So we're grounding down into the earth so you can leave the eyes open or you can close them briefly and just allow the arms to relax, feel the toes, feel the heels, feel your knees, they're straight. And then allow the hips to come forward a little bit. So feel like that <coughs> spine is aligning from the bottom to the top, relaxing. And then just finding your breath, finding the breath in your lower abdomen, breathing in, breathing out, and then just allow the arms to come slowly forward. Palms are facing the body as if you're holding a tree trunk or hugging something in a very relaxed way, right? And then just notice how the shoulders can relax, the elbows, the wrists. And then you take maybe another deep breath in and you exhale out through the mouth and just feel that whole body aligning, whole body aligning, feeling rooted and grounded. And then slowly you can open your eyes, bring the hands up, hugging that tree trunk or holding that circle of light in front of your heart, connecting with the center of the chest, maybe put a big smile on your face. It's really nice outside today, sunny, open. So we want to cultivate that sunshine inside. So take another deep breath into the chest, fill your chest with this light and then exhale out, relax the shoulders a little more. Relax the facial muscles, the jaw, everything stays open, right? And then slowly bring the arms all the way up, palms facing down just above your head for a moment, feeling that circle around your head, allowing the brain waves to settle, coming into that into that state of where we have the brain and the heart and the body, everything is connected. Everything feels open and flowing. And then from here, we're going to slowly lift the arms all the way up, lift the gaze up, connecting to the sky, the fresh new air. Let that come into our body, greeting the universe, right? You're kind of greeting the universe. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out and then slowly bring the hands down above your head and then above your face, slowly down the front of your body. Arms are relaxed, fingers are relaxed, wrists, everything stays open. And then the hands are facing the thighs. We're going to inhale the arms up to the shoulders. And then exhale here, slowly press the palms as if they're pushing something away. And then level the palms back to the ground. Then inhale, bend the elbows, draw the chi in. And exhale, push it out. And again, inhale, draw it in. And exhale, push it out. Good. Inhale. And exhale, good. And then from here, we're going to bring the arms out to the side, allowing that chi to come to the left and to the right. So face the earth with the palms and then slowly inhale, draw the chi in from the left, from the right and exhale, press out. Good. Inhale, pull it into the heart, into the lungs. Exhale, press it out. Inhale. And exhale, relaxed and open, playful. One more, bring it in. 
and exhale out. Slowly let the arms just sink down next to the legs. Fingers are facing down. And now we're going to turn the palms back and extend the arms away from the body. So push back from here. We're going to secure that back body or strengthening the back body. First, we're going to come onto the heels just very slightly. And then we're going to bring all 10 fingertips together. And then we're going to bring the hands just here underneath the rib cage. Now, as we exhale, we're going to go forward and drop the heels down. So it's like this. <sighs> Open the hands. Beautiful. Let the arms come down, gather the chi or sink the chi. Some people talk about that. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms, and hold that circle again. Roll the shoulders, the right shoulder first, the left shoulder, again, the right shoulder, the left shoulder. One more time. Good. And then take a breath in. On the exhale, press out. Now extend. Look up again. Feel the whole body aligning, the spine. Let the hips come forward, the heel, tailbone dropping down, the shoulder dropping down, gathering all this beautiful energy through your body. Take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, slowly roll down. So folding from the hips down, the knees can be bent as much as you need to. Palms are facing the earth, the arms are extended. We're gathering the chi from the earth, the energy from the earth through our palms into our body. Let the top of the head come down so you're relaxed in this way. And then slowly release the hands. Fingertips are pointing down. Bring the right arm over the left. So they're crossing over. Bend the knees and slowly roll up to a standing. Roll up to a standing. Bringing the shoulders up a little bit and then open up. And then from here, we're going to step out with the left heel. Bring the left heel forward. Bring the left hand up and look through your left hand. Weight comes forward and the right palm pushes down. Now just gaze for a moment through the left palm. Right palm pushes down. Now transfer the weight back into the right foot. Step in with the left. Slowly bring the left hand down. Step out with the right heel. Let the right hand come up. The left palm pushes down. Now look through your right palm. Good. And then come back. Transfer the weight into the left. Bring the right hand down. Hold the circle between your palms. Slowly turn the palms just below the navel. Holding, concentrating. Breathing in, breathing out. And then gather the chi towards your lower abdomen. Just a slow motion with the wrists, bringing the chi into your lower abdomen. Good. And then bring all the fingertips together, facing each other. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, turn the palms and extend the arms one more time. Palms are facing up, the fingertips are facing the midline. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bring the hands down to the side. Sink into the knees a little bit. I'm going to do this a couple more times. We're going to lift up to the chest, turn all the way up. And then slowly bring the arms down again. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, lift. Turn outwardly and up. And bring it down. 
beautiful and then bring the hands in front of your lower abdomen again right hand in first for females or if you identify as a female left in front there's a space between the hands and the body and then again we're going to take three conscious breaths into our lower abdomen deep breath in deep breath out one more deep breath in feel the lower abdomen expanding feel the lower abdomen contracting last one in last one out bringing your awareness your attention lower abdomen lower dantian gathering here holding and then for the last one of this warm-up sequence, we're going to form a triangle. So just the tips of your thumbs are facing each other and the tips of the index finger are facing each other right in front of here. Lift the hands up a little bit and then guide them over the hips and then press the palms down, releasing any extra energy, any extra stress from the hips, from the lower back down into the earth. Release the fingertips down, turn the hands forward, inhale, gather the chi above your head and press through. Good. You can place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe in and out through the nose if that feels good throughout the practice. Good, and then holding the hands again, lower abdomen, step out a little wider with the hips, right foot steps out a little bit, and then we're going to begin to rotate from the torso. And again, you can turn onto the heels on either side if that feels better for your knees, otherwise the feet stay straight and you're just allowing the arms to swing with the movement, tapping gently the kidneys and the adrenals, a little higher than the lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. Allowing yourself to just relax, right? So we're having these four principles in Qigong, which has a lot to do with relaxation, letting the body come into a relaxed state, having the body also in alignment and also being present with the breath. And then the playfulness comes in if you can bring in the visualizations like visualizing, imagining you bring in this fresh chi, this fresh energy into every cell of your body. And as you breathe out, releasing the toxins and the waste, you can release it in form of light so it gets composted, so we're not polluting more. Good. And then slowly we're going to walk the hands up, the rib cages, and then the outer upper arm. And then one arm opposite shoulder and one arm stays down back to the kidney area. And just noticing how you feel right now. Being present in the body, warming up the spine. Good. And then slowly walk the hands back down, outer upper arms, and then the rib cages. Good. And then coming to an end of this movement, slowly 
Bringing the hands around and slowly find your kidneys. With the backs of your hands, feet a little bit closer, you can bend forward a little bit, begin to tap the kidneys. Tap the kidneys, the adrenals. Breathing in, breathing out, letting go of any extra stress or tension. Releasing. Smiling to the kidneys, being grateful. And then slowly tap down the lower body, tapping the sacrum area, and then all the way down to the tip of the tailbone and the sit bones. So with the backs of your hands, to release any stagnation and also to allow the spine to come into alignment. And then tap the outside of your glutes, soft fist. Again, this is a big major key point for releasing any stiffness and tightness in the hips. Good, and then we're going to tap the kneecaps. And the backs of the knees. And then the inside, outside of the left knee. And then also the right side. Good, and then bring the feet together and then we're gonna have a soft bend in the knees and do some small knee circles to the left, counterclockwise. Small knee circles, but if your knees are really healthy and you feel like it, go for some bigger circles if that feels good. Always listen to your body. It will tell you um, every time when something doesn't feel good or feels good, right? So why wouldn't we listen to it? Good. Warming up the knees, aligning ankle bones, knees, hips, and shoulders. And then slowly changing direction. Good. And then you can separate the knee and just fold forward again, let the upper body hang. Notice how the lower back feels, the right side, the left side, if you feel any imbalance there, or if you feel a little tender, just noticing. And then from here, slowly roll up again. Roll up to a standing. Bring the shoulders with you to the earlobes and then open the chest, open it wide, open up the heart, the lungs. So we're going to proceed with that. We're going to bring the hands forward just below the navel. We're going to inhale the palms up to the chest and we're going to exhale, open the arms to the side, sinking into the knees a little bit. So I'm going to do this again. Inhale, we're going to lift up and exhale. Again, you can inhale, exhale through the nose, tip of the tongue and the roof of your mouth. Opening. Drawing up that chi, open the heart, open the lungs. And again, inhale. And exhale, smiling. Good. One more. Good. And then we're going to straighten the legs slowly, bring the hands below the navel, this time stack the palms. Right hand in first for females, just below the navel. So to 
connect with the lower Dantian. Eyes can be open or you can close them briefly. Take three conscious breaths in and out. Deep breath in. Draw the chi into every cell of your body. Exhale out, releasing stagnation, releasing toxins and waste. Inhale, fill your body with well-being, health, calmness, and exhale out any stressors or worries that is just disturbing your peace. Inhale. Breathing in the centeredness, the groundedness, the present moment. Exhaling out the past and the future. Just being here right now in this moment. Good. And then you can open your eyes again. And we're going to release the arms down next to the legs. This time we're going to inhale the arms up to the shoulders. We're going to exhale, turn the palms slowly. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up. You can lift up your gaze. And then as you exhale, you pull it through. Good. Let's do this a few more times. So inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, you turn the palms, you receive. Inhale, you lift up. And exhale, you gather. Sink in the chi. Letting that energy move through the whole body. And again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keeping the mind present again. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, pulling it through. Good, and here's the last one. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, turn the palms. Inhale, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, pull in. Feeling the whole body filling with this chi. Good, and then you release the palms down. Facing the body, connecting with your lower dantian again. Take a breath in and out, making sure you're still here. Mind is present. Good. And then from here, we're going to form the circle again. The fingertips are facing each other. We're going to bring that circle up, facing your chest, relaxing the arms, the elbows, Relaxing the shoulders. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, turn to the left. Carry that circle with you. Hold for a moment here. Now turn your head and look behind your left shoulder as far as you can see. As far as you can turn. Now bring the head back to the center, looking into your hands or into your palms. Now inhale, bring the circle halfway forward. Exhale, turn to the left. Knees are straight. Inhale, halfway forward. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, halfway forward. 
Exhale to the left. Inhale. And exhale, noticing how your spine is twisting. One more, inhale. And exhale, relax the shoulders and arms as much as you can. Now inhale back to center. Carry the circle with you and exhale, turn all the way to the right. And then from here, turn your head first, look behind your right shoulder as far as it feels comfortable. And then slowly on an inhale, turn the head back, looking at the fingers or the palms. Relax the shoulders. Now inhale, halfway to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to circle back to the center. On the exhale, turn the palms down and slowly press from the chest down, clearing out, releasing. Release the hands next to the legs, palms facing forward. Inhale, gather the chi above your head. And then exhale, slowly bring it down. Feel that sinking down feeling. Good, and then release to the earth. What can be released, bring the hands back, lower Dantian, take a breath in, take a breath out, letting go of any extra. Holding your concentration, holding your concentration or your focus, noticing the breath. Good. Next movement, we're going to leave the left hand down, bring the right hand up, the hands forward and out as if you're holding a column of light. And then from here, we're going to bring the left hand up to the forehead. The right hand moves over or out and down. So you're creating a shape. And then the left hand moves out and down as the right hand moves up. So now imagine, when you do this movement, that you are guiding chi, or the chi is moving up the back, over the top of your head, and down the front. And it's one continuous loop. Moving yin and yang. Right, the back body is the yang, the front body is the yin, and we always want to create the balance. As humans, this is what we want most because we live best and most happy when we're in balance. When we're out of balance, that's when we're trying to get back into balance, right? So when you do this movement, do it really slowly. Allow yourself to slow down Connect with the liver and the gallbladder, the spleen, the pancreas, your digestive system. Connect with the kidneys, the adrenals, the heart and the lungs, all the organs. Opening those channels to be balanced. And then when you do this, just allow the wrists to relax, the fingers, the arms. And rather than trying to think about it, see what you feel. And if you feel nothing yet, that doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that you may be not um, sensitive yet to the feeling because it's subtle energy we're working with. 
straighten the legs a little bit and imagine the spine completely straight, completely straight, all aligned. Good, one more round. Noticing any sensation, allowing all the feelings to be there. And then slowly bring the upper hand down. Again, holding the hands in front of your body, space between the hands and the body, right hand in first for females, left in front. Maybe you notice a tingling sensation or a feeling in your palms. This is the energy that we're working with. Relaxing the legs, right? So the legs tend to be tired or they tend to tighten up here. See if you can relax them. Sometimes just adjusting the hips a little bit forward helps to release. Maybe you lift the toes a little bit and set them down. Maybe you lift the heels and let them set down. Just notice how this feels. Letting go of any extra. And then from here, we're going to open up the arms to the side, bend the knees a little bit. And then as you bring the hands back in, you gather that chi in. So we're going to inhale here and exhale and inhale and exhale. Inhale, gathering in. Exhale, sending out. Inhale, gathering in. And exhale, sending out. Now let's gather joy. Inhale, bringing all this joy into the body, into the cells. Exhale, releasing what's no longer useful. Inhale, gathering more chi. And exhale, release. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then inhale, bring it all in, straighten the legs and hold your hands here. Hold the arms, relax the arms, the face. Three breaths, gather your concentration or your focus, the lower abdomen, take a breath in. Feel the expansion, exhale, feel the contraction. Inhale. And exhale, relaxing the shoulders down the back, noticing whole body opening up, aligning. Inhale and exhale, inwardly smiling from the heart, from the liver, from the gallbladder. Feel how that chi is building up. And then from here, we're going to go and we're going to bring the palms upward, facing the palms upward. The fingertips are facing each other. We're going to inhale, lift up again to the chest and exhale, press down, sink into the knees. Now we're going to inhale, lift up again, exhale, pressing down. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, press down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press down. We're going to step out to the left now. So we're going to inhale. We're going to inhale the hands up to the chest. Bring your left heel out in front. And then as you exhale, you push forward. So the weight is in the front. The left heel or the right heel lifts. Now, as you inhale, you draw back in, the front toes lift. As you exhale, you push back out, back heel lifts. So the weight transfers from the front to the back and the back to the front. While you're pushing, 
and you make this really again playful pull it in push it out pull it in push it out Good. Slowly. Good. Now the next time when you pull in, bring the hands to the chest, left heel comes in. And then we're going to step out with the right. On the exhale, we push out. On the inhale, we pull in. Front toes lift, exhale, back heels lift, inhale, and exhale. So you're guiding with your hands, right? Your hands are these electromagnetic tools, and you're working with them. And as you know, energy can flow best when everything is open and relaxed, right? When we allow tension and tightness that's when energy can get stuck, whether it's in thoughts or whether it's in the motions or in our physical body. We want to have this body, our vehicle, work well for us, right? So we want to bring it all together in harmony. Good. Pull it in. Push it out. Pull it in one more time. Bring the hands to the chest, the right heel in, and then slowly press down. Press down from the chest all the way down. Extend the arms and the palms to the earth. So the arms are straight, the palms are pushing down, releasing all the extra energy. And then slowly release the fingertips down. Good. Bring the hands forward, again holding below the navel. Three conscious breaths in and out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Feel that energy opening up any stagnant energy in the lower back. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good. And then from here, let's form a ball between your hands as if you're holding a ball, an energetic ball. Focus between your palms. Take a breath in and exhale into your palms. Exhale into the palms. So bring the energy into your palms. Shift your weight into the left foot and close in with the right. So the feet are together, holding the ball. Take a breath in. On the exhale, turn to the right. Bring the right hand over the left and stretch your arms out as much as you can. The spine is straight. Now we'll go back to the center. Inhale, you bring the ball back into the center. Now exhale, turn to the left. The left hand is over the right. Stretch out the arms to the left, holding that pearl or that ball between your hands. Inhale back to center. And exhale to the right, left over right. Arms are extended. Inhale center. And exhale to the left. Right palm is over the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right, holding the ball, holding that pearl. Inhale to center. And exhale to the left. Right over left. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
Now inhale, bring the ball in. Exhale here, hold the ball. Shift your weight into the left foot and step out a little wider with the right, holding the ball again. Now we're going to bring the ball up and over. So we're going to inhale the hands up, holding the ball up, lifting the gaze. And as you exhale, you bend your knees, you bring that pearl down to the earth, holding, facing the palms each other. Inhale, lifting back up, bringing that pearl through your whole body. Arms are lifted on the exhale, slowly down. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, releasing. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, releasing. Good. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release down. Good. Now inhale, bring the ball or the pearl up through the body. Lift the arms up and exhale in this position. Keep the arms up if you can. If you can't keep the arms down, imagine you have them up. Find the feet are in a good standing position. As you inhale, bend the knees, come straight down. As you exhale, come straight back up. Inhale down. You don't have to go down very far. Exhale back up. Inhale. And exhale, spine is all straight, the arms are relaxed, which is allowing the chi to flow. Breathing in peaceful energy, five breaths. Breathing in peace, peace into the organs, peace into the ligaments, the bones, the muscles, peace for the mind. All that sunshine, let it come in. Relaxing, even in a difficult position, right? Even if life throws us some challenges, we are building resilience to it in a peaceful way. When you do this movement, just allow and feel that peace moving through you. Lower part, center, upper part of the spine, relax, the shoulder blades relax. Focusing on your breath. Good. Wonderful. And then from here, we're going to go back down again, hold the hands above. Take a breath in, now bend the knees and slowly fold down. Very slowly, mindfully, release the fingertips down to the earth and then hold your hands either above the ankle or you can hold your knees. Let the top of your head hang down. Now as you inhale, draw your nose towards your body. And as you exhale, move your nose away from the body, giving the neck a nice way to work with here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then shift or turn to <coughs> the left side, holding the left leg. You can wrap your hands around the lower part of your leg. So just above the ankle bone, or you can go up higher. See what feels best. Again, three breaths. Inhale the nose towards that leg and exhale away. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
And then when you finish, you can slowly come through the center, wrap your hands around the right leg. Same breath uh, method. So it's inhaling, nose draws towards the leg, exhaling away. Three breaths. Noticing how this side feels today. And then for the last one in this sequence, come back through the center and wrap your hands around from the back of your legs. Again, you can be above the ankles or you can be up higher behind the knees. And then inhale the nose, draw the nose towards the body and exhale away. Three breaths. Relax the shoulders. <coughs> Good. And then you can release the arms forward and then place the palms above your feet, tops of your feet. So either they touch or you just let them hover. And then from here, we're going to draw the chi up. So we're going to bring the hands to the inside of the foot and slowly brush with the fingertips up the inside of the legs. Rolling up. And when you come up, cross the wrists in front of your lower abdomen and bring the arms up. Now uncross the arms just right by the chest. Go behind and brush up the back of your neck and the back of your head all the way up and extend the arms up, palms are facing up, the fingertips are facing the midline and you just hold for a moment here, letting the whole body be filled with this light, with this chi and then slowly bring the arms down to the side. Kind of like bringing all this circle back together for yourself. Bringing the hands back. Lower abdomen, interlace the fingers and begin to massage your lower abdomen, your stomach area. One direction, a few times. So some teachings, they say eight times. Some teaching says nine. There are 6,000 different forms of Qigong practices, so really make it yours. Allow yourself to make it yours. And then changing direction, bringing all this beautiful energy, this vitality into your body, this peace into your mind, this happiness, this joy into your fields into your emotions, feeling joyful from the heart. Good. And then we're going to go from here. We're going to bring the right hand up over the left shoulder and we're brushing down the top of the left arm and out the left fingertips. Turn the left hand up and then we're brushing up the inside of the left palm, the inside of the left arm, over the chest. And then switching hands, the left hand down, the top of the right arm, slowly and out the right fingertips and up the inside. Coming back to the center and then turn to the left. Bring the right hand in front of your left hip and the left hand on the back holding right here. So both hands holding here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn down. So we're going to take a breath in and as we exhale, we swish the hands down, forward and out. We turn to the right, do the same thing on the right side. We inhale and we exhale, swish down. Let's do this two more times. Inhale. Exhale out, and then again, inhale, exhale out. One more on this side, inhale, exhale out. And on the right side, inhale, exhale out. Good. And then from here, you can bring the right hand over to the left side of the body. We're going to bring, we're going to guide the chi up. 
over the back of your head and we'll press down, turn to the right on the right side, pressing the right palm down. The left hand reaches over to the right hip. We're going to bring it up over the back from our head, over the top of our head, and we're pressing down the left side. Yeah, good. Good, and then we're going to do our harvesting the chi. Bring the right foot in a little bit. Rub your hands together briskly. And then we're going to massage from the tip of the nose, massage the outside of the face. Tell yourself all these beautiful messages. Good, and then we're going to comb over the top of the head down to the bottom of the neck. Good, and then we're going to tap the top of your head just with one palm. Tap the top of your head. Good, and then massage the ears, tops of the ears. Massage the inside, the outside of the ear. Pull on the earlobes a little bit. Begin again, top, the outside. Pull on the earlobes. Good. And then we're going to tap. We're going to tap underneath the eyes, just above the cheekbones. Take a breath in and out. Good, and then we're going to tap the end of the collarbones, our K27s. Again, those points, they need to be tapped intensely. Good, and then tap the center of your sternum, your CV17, your heart point. Good, and then tap down here, the spleen meridian, just below the rib cages. Remember, the spleen metabolizes our responses to stress. So this is a really important organ that we don't pay typically too much attention towards it. Good, shake out your hands. Good, bring your right hand over the left shoulder, pull across diagonally and out the right hip. Left hand, left shoulder, pull it out, allowing those brain hemispheres to cross over. Good, and then turn to the left, bring your hands just to the left leg and we're gonna brush down the back and the side of the left leg. So you brush down, you go around the foot, and you brush up the inside of the left leg. You go across the lower abdomen, and then you do the same thing on the right side. Brush down, around the foot, and up the inside. Coming back to the center here. Now we're going to tap the lower back, and the I start with the kidneys again. Bringing the hands down, lower back, sacrum area, tapping the tailbone, tapping the sit bones. And so it's important the tip of the tailbone. There is a, it's a polarity point. So it's important to go all the way down if you can. And then go the outside of your glutes. Good, and then just tap or slap down the outside of your legs. 
over the feet, come up the inside of your legs. Only going to do this one time. Come to the groins, tap the groins. Good. Lift the right foot, press it down with the left hand. Same on the other side. We're doing this kind of crosswalk. If you can't reach the knees, you can also just walk like in the marching band. <laughs> Good. And then from here, we're going to bring the hands around, support the lower back, and dolphin dive the whole body. So you go forward and back. So you allow this minor back bend, pushing the hips forward a little bit. Good. Let's do one more. And then bring the hands forward, cross the wrists in front of your lower abdomen. We're going to lift the arms up, uncross over the top of the head and bring the arms back down. We're going to do this two or three more times. Cross the wrist, lift up, and wow. This is our wow movement of releasing, balancing, allowing this feeling of being alive, right? So you can say, wow, what a miracle. We are alive. Let's do one more. Good. Wonderful. Now bring the hands forward. Release the palms towards the lower abdomen. Gathering the chi, holding the chi. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. And then shift the weight into the left foot. Bring your right foot in. Stack the palms. Three conscious breaths in and out. You can also envision the number three. Good, and then we want to give gratitude to this body, gratitude to the earth, the universe, gratitude for our um, practice together today. So let's roll the non-dominant fist into the dominant, the hands to the heart, and bow to each other, spreading this love and this peace into the world. And then bow to the teachings and teachers, these ancient teachings, and then bow our last bow to ourselves. So really thanking ourselves, our body, our mind, our spirit, our soul to be here today. And then don't forget the big smile at the end and enjoy this beautiful day outside. Thank you so much.